If you take photos, you most likely edit them in some way. If you are like me, an avid Lightroom and Photoshop user, there's lots of presets and add-ons available out there, but I have been looking for a long time for something reliable and good enough for professional work when it comes to speeding up the process of retouching. When you know what you are doing with Photoshop, in Photoshop, removing skin blemishes, fixing skin imperfections or skin color and tone is not that really difficult, but when you got 10, 100 or more photos to go through, it might be very, very time consuming. I have found a solution that works and it works up to my standard, a solution that really makes the process not only very easy, but also very fast. In this video, I am talking about AI driven, amazing Photoshop plugins from Retouch for me. Keep watching to find out more. I don't usually do software reviews on this channel, but when I found these and I started using these, I decided that I had to tell you all about them. Retouch for me is a brainchild of a very talented Oleg Sharanov from Estonia. These plugins offer something unique in a way that what they do and how they do it is very subtle. Retouch for me offers quite a few different solutions to most common retouching problems photographers or editors can have. But in this video, I am talking about four that have totally changed my workflow. Heal, skin tone, mattifier and color match. This is not a tutorial. There are really great step-by-step -step tutorials on Retouch for Me website, as well as free demos for you to try before you buy. This is just a demonstration to show you what these plugins do and how I use them to speed up my workflow. So let's not delay any longer. Firstly, Heal. This is automatic retouching tool that fixes skin imperfections. Just like all these plugins, this plugin can be used with Photoshop or as a standalone application on Windows or Mac. It can be also used alongside Lightroom to send the photos directly from Lightroom to retouching and back to Lightroom when you are done with them. Retouching skin imperfections is probably one of the most time consuming work you can do when editing photos. With this plugin, it's all done by AI automatically. I always duplicate the layer, the original image first. This way, the editing is non-destructive. This way, you can always go back to the original or modify the results. Launch the heel plugin and you don't really have to do anything else. It detects the face and skin and that's the retouching for you. All the tools here are the same with all the Retouch for Me plugins and give the options to modify the mask, add or remove parts of it, change the intensity of the edited elements and also allows you to apply the edits to the image or just to the mask. This is what I do, apply the effects to the mask. This gives me only retouched areas on the layer above the actual image. So for example, if the software has removed a mold that shouldn't be removed, I can just erase that part of the layer to bring it back. Very simple. What is really great here is that it doesn't make the skin look like plastic. It doesn't overdo it. It retains the skin texture and tone and very well retouches only the skin imperfections. This tool alone can save hundreds of hours if you do portrait and do retouching of blemishes all the time. For me, this is a game changer and a tool that I wish I have found sooner. Next is skin tone. This determines the skin tone, any skin tone from the photo and adjust any variations of color like red cheeks, for example, or light reflections to, on the skin to make the skin uniform and consistent color. There will be occasions that this is not something that you want to change, but very often this kind of adjustment to only part of the face is very tricky. Same as before, duplicate the layer, apply skin tone filter, you can adjust the strength of the filter and add it to the mask. Here it says soft max, I'll show you why in a second, and you apply it to the layer above the actual image. Now you have to change blend mode to soft light, and this makes that gray looking layer see through. You can actually see how the color correction have been applied to it. On this photo, the girl's skin have red, pink undertones showing, the filter have made the skin all the same tone without any visible patches and still fully preserving the skin texture. P pretty amazing. Next one is the mattifier. This removes any highlights on the skin like glowing foreheads or shiny noses and applies a skin tone matching the rest of the face. This is another one that is very hard, very time consuming to fix by hand. Also almost impossible to retain the skin texture if you are fixing larger areas like, like the forehead. Duplicate the layer, uh, apply the filter, tweak to your liking. 
and apply to mask. This is simply incredible how good it is and how quick to, to do, to apply. And the last is the biggest one, probably the biggest one, color match. This plugin filter analyzes the color scheme of your image and another reference image and converts your image to match. So basically you can take a frame from your favorite film, a picture of your favorite photographer or just any image that you like the colors of and apply that look to your own image. After using this for a while I think it works the best, you get the best results if your image is in some way similar to the one you are referencing to. Let me show you. As always uh, duplicate the layer, duplicate the image, uh, open the color match plugin and choose the reference image. What you are doing is applying look, the color scheme of that image to your image. Here I have a night photo of the street in Warsaw and I want to make it look somehow like those blue and colorful images of Tokyo at night. Here is one I have found online, one click and that's it. You can adjust the intensity, brightness and color and what's more you can export this look into .cube file to use in the future, not only on your photos in Photoshop but also as a LUT in video editing. As I said, your reference image has to be in some way similar to your source one. I wouldn't try to match a picture of a pink flower to an image of a person. The person will be basically pink. This is probably the easiest and quickest way to create or recreate the look you like. Easy enough to find images from your favorite films or TV shows. Very simple and very effective. This and the other ones you can buy from Retouch for Me are worth every penny in my opinion. They all individually cost $124, $124 each. Not exactly spur of the moment plugin buy, but if you are spending long time retouching your photos, this is an incredible price for a tool or tools that can make your work much easier and much quicker. The results you get with these plugins are very natural looking, not in your face, but very precise with all the skin tones and textures preserved. There's quite a few others available as well. Try them before buying. There are demos available. You'll be surprised how good and how useful they are. And this is it from me. I hope this video was in some way helpful or at least informative. If it was, please give me the thumbs up, follow me on Instagram and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. What is really great here, what is really great here, after using this for a while I think it works the best you get the best result. Ay, ay, ay. Duplicate the layer, apply the filter. This is probably the easiest and quickest way to. And this is the probably. And this is probably the easiest. This is an incredible price for a tool or tools. Not of breath.